Jeff. I'm Ryan. And we are the Unpredictable Weather Guys. And I'm Tom. Well, it was unpredictable that the chair would collapse upon you. You'd think that I'd be the one with a collapsing chair. I outweigh you about a good 50 pounds. Be that as it may, let's talk about the product today. Today we're out here with at the Accurate Institute for Advanced Weather Studies. And uh, we're uh, looking at the 2001. Uh, this is a forecaster. Can you tell us a little bit about this uh, product right Sure. This has the future forecast icon right here in the middle. And uh, that gives you uh, the 12 to 24 hour future forecast of your weather conditions. So that's good for the consumer because they can use that to know what's going to happen later this afternoon. They're going to go to the ball field or tomorrow morning. They, you know, they may have a, for some reason they need to get out, maybe shovel the sidewalks because they get up a little earlier. That yeah, so it helps you plan your day. And uh, that's based on our patented technology, which uh, analyzes the pressure changes over the first 14 days or so. Right here, 14 day learning book. And, um, and uh, really gives you the forecast for your specific area. It's not 30 miles away or anything like that. Um, up on top, we got your temperature and your humidity for, for outside. And um, also gives you your records for the day, your high and your low. And uh, over here, we have the same for your indoor temperature and humidity. Helps you figure out your indoor. So this gives you your indoor temperature and humidity. So this, this is more of a weather station than, than a, necessarily just a forecast. Yeah, yeah, it really gives you a, a lot in a, in a nice display size. And uh, down at the bottom, you got a, a, a atomic clock, which will atomic. This kid. Come on, atomic. It's atomic. And really, what it's based on is there's a uh, there's a atomic clock in Fort Collins, Colorado, that the government operates. And it sends out a signal to devices such as this to make sure that the clock is perfectly accurate every day. And uh, so this will catch the signal every night and make sure that the time is just right. Okay, so this is, it basically synchronizes up to that that atomic clock, and they call that a radio control clock, or RCC. That's exactly. Excellent. Exactly. And of course, we have uh, a backlight right here. You push this button. Of course, you can't see it during the day, but at night, it's a nice bright blue. And uh, let's just see all the information anytime during the night. Really nice. And clear. Now, a lot of people ask me, what's the what's the value in having indoor humidity displayed on your product? Like this? So, can you, can you give us uh, viewers a little bit of information on why they'd want to know what the indoor humidity is? Sure. Yeah, I think it's 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 really turned out to be kind of a health issue for a lot of people. Um, you have certain molds and things that'll grow and and really run rampant if your humidity is really high. And uh, some people with uh, breathing conditions and things like that are also very interested to know what the indoor humidity is because it will affect their life um, pretty greatly in some situations. Yeah, my dad's into woodwork. He says that uh, if the humidity oh, yeah. gets down too low, it's bad for furniture. Yeah, that's true too. So let's the, the, the uh, owner you know, kind of keep an eye on that humidity and make sure it stays within a certain range and then obviously the outdoor humidity lets them know how comfortable they get yeah. feel they uh, this one also has this really cool feature. I think it's one of my favorite units. So it has this little tilting display stand. So you can really kind of get the right viewing angle if you have it on a desk or if you have it on a side table, maybe your bed stand, your nightstand. Um, it'll give you a good view of that in the LCD. And this has our 100 meter RF as well, so that allows the user to place the sensor wherever they want to, basically, to catch a good outdoor temperature and have it in proper placement. Check out our video on placing uh, sensors to see the right places and the wrong places to put a sensor.